Hey Rock Bags, today I'm going to show you how to get all the different mounts in Minecraft Legends. There are three additional ones that you can collect, four including the horse that you start with. They each have their own special abilities to get across the map. You don't really need them to do or get across to certain places, but they can help in certain situations. They are or can be challenging to find some of them because they are in certain biomes, so you would think that you go to any biome and you'll be able to find that specific mount. However, as you know, you come across question marks that reveal either loot, maybe new alleys that you can add to your collection or mounts. And you have to find the specific question mark in one of these biomes first before you start seeing the rest of the creatures spawn. So for example, the Big Beak is one of the early ones that you might come across. You won't see any of them in any of the biomes until you've gone and found that question mark in the Jagged Peaks. How do I know this? I had a real problem trying to find the tiger. I went around all the different biomes that it's meant to be in, according to other guides, and I could not find a single one until I found the question mark hidden away in an area I hadn't explored. After that, I found a whole ton of the tigers in every part of the dry savannah. So bear that in mind, if you're having trouble finding a specific mount even though you're in the right biome, you may need to go to the other types of that same biome on the same map. Keep looking around for the question marks first, and then hopefully you'll unlock and find the mount that you want. So the big beaks, which these guys are, are really fast and rapid, and they can also glide for longer distances when they're in the air. So the idea is that you're meant to use these in different places where you might need to get into a fort, where you can maybe glide from a mountain or cliff nearby, or to help you get across lava with a big jump and then a glide across. And yeah, as soon as you go and explore in some of the jagged peaks, hopefully you'll find the question mark that will unlock all of them to be in that area. Next up are the beetles. You'll find these guys in the jungles normally. Their big strength is that they can climb vertical walls. So any fortress big walls, you'll be able to get over and get inside if you want to scope things out or mess around with the piglins. They also have a little bit of a glide ability and they're a little bit slower than I would say the Big Beak but they do go and glide in water a lot quicker too. And lastly, yes, in the dry savannah you will hopefully go ahead and find the Tiger which is the quickest out of all of the mounts. So you may have two or three different dry savannah biomes and you, like I said, you need to find that one first question mark revealing the location of them first and then you'll start to see them spawn all over the different dry savannas. That's what I found anyway. I was starting to think it was tied to progression because I'd only just got the tiger after completing a good chunk of the game. But it does look like you do need to find some of them at a question mark first to then go ahead and unlock the rest. So tigers are pretty cool, but they don't necessarily have any other skills. They're not going to be able to jump that high, but they do go pretty fast when you use the sprint button. Looks like they're going to add more mount skins in the future for completing some of the special events that they have once a month basically a mini adventure and that will give you rewards although this month it looks like it's a skin just for your character rather than a mount but there you go that's how you get all the brand new mounts in minecraft legends if you found this useful go and check out my tips guide i've already done and some of the let's plays and stick around for more survival games news and gameplay i'll see you right bags later